Good morning. My name is Tiffany Howard and this is Transform Your Life. Tip number seven. Do you see the pool behind me? The beautiful trees, everything that's in my background. I'm at my friend's house. It's a 3,000 square foot home with apricot trees, figs, grapefruit, oranges, lemons, grapes, um, tomatoes, herb garden. <laughs> they have everything on this property. Oh uh, boy. And they have moved. They had another home that's a thousand square feet because this had started to become a burden. A burden. See, the more things we have, the more burdens we have. That leads me into Tiffany's treasure chest of tips. Tip number seven today is live simply. Live simply. My friends had the consciousness to recognize that this had become too much. My friend said it was an elephant on her chest. So she had the discernment to move into their other home that's a thousand square feet, something manageable, something that they could take care of. You see, we amass all these things. Some people to fill a hole and emptiness and things will never be able to do that. I've learned that. We acquire these things because for some people, they equate having things with their worth. You're not worth things. Your worth is not in things. For some people, it's to keep up with the Joneses. Whatever the reason is, it won't give you more happiness. And if it does, it's temporary. <laughs> it's fleeting. <laughs> you can't take these things with you. You see, we are simply borrowing these things. You say, well, I bought them. You're still borrowing these things. You don't take them with you like you don't take your body with you. When you transition, you leave your body here. It becomes dust like these things. They're temporary. You're borrowing them. Leaving them for the next and the next and the next. I remember when I became a uh, uh, vegan and I decided to go to the next level. I was at the level of eating no animals or dairy, um, eggs, anything. The next level for me was to release myself of my animal products, my animal things. I had this $800 to me purse which I loved because I would carry it to court uh, with my clients files in it. I had these chocolate Lucchese leather boots. Beautiful. These, these different color Toomey wallets. Lime green, blue. These beautiful black leather boots. I had all this leather stuff. And I remember giving my purses to my wallets to my sister and my niece. I remember going to Buffalo Exchange in Austin on Guadalupe and taking in all my stuff and then driving home in tears, getting home in tears and thinking, why am I crying? Because I released this stuff. I had become attached to it. My value, I thought, was in that stuff. And I said, oh my God, what insanity. This is nonsense. 
So when I began my spiritual journey in 2015, I started releasing more stuff. And as I released stuff, my burdens lifted. I felt light. I felt happy. I didn't have all this stuff. When you have all this stuff, you have to keep up with it. Some people worrying about other people taking it or them losing this stuff. Sometimes when I go out walking and I pass through the neighborhood and I see people's stuff in their garages, piled up stuff. They don't even know what they have. They have so much stuff. They've forgotten how much stuff they have, but they attach to it, hoarding. It's not self-love. It's not self-love. You have to learn to live simply. Be light. Be light. A mortgage is a death cage. Be light, mortgage, death cage. Live simply. Live simply. Living simply is living consciously. Living simply is living spiritually. Living simply is self-love. I don't care how much stuff you have, it will never fill you up. Yes, it's nice to have nice things. I like nice things. I love nice things. But they're not who I am. I understand I'm borrowing those things, just using them. They're temporary. They're not who I am. Learn to live simply. Start right now. Start releasing things that you don't need, you don't use. Give them away. Pay them forward. You will feel an attachment at first. Right here. Because you're attached to it. But it will slowly dissipate. That energy will move out of you as you let it go. And you realize that it's really not yours anyway that you're greater than the stuff that you have. That as you release these burdens that you've created for yourself because you can't deal with the emptiness within, you will feel the love, you will feel the lightness, you will feel the freedom, you will feel the burdens being lifted. Live simply. I love you. Spirit loves you. Life loves you. Nature loves you. Thank you so much for your time. Namaste. Namaste.